right, the uh, first thing you need to prove is that you are able to make changes to a drawing. So earlier I showed how to change the thingamabob on the side. That's by going over the extrusion, right clicking, and either doing an edit sketch or an edit feature. Edit sketch, if you remember, allowed us to change the height and width of an object. And edit feature allowed us to go back and change how far something sticks out, so the depth. Your job after that was to change this distance from 1.25 to 0.75. So to change this distance, uh, you needed to prove that you knew how to go in and make an edit. And what you would have been able to do is find the correct extrusion in the toolbar, right click, and then go to edit feature. And the correct distance for this one was 0.75. Once you made those changes, I was hoping you had the ability to change colors and change these things to two different colors. So I'm going to make my main body purple. And the thingamabobby, I'm going to go with yellow. And then after this, you're supposed to start a new drawing for your bob drawing. So I would want to see this. You'd get checked off and then you move on. Remember that your bob drawing is your first graded drawing. It starts out like all the others. It's an English file. It's a standard inch IPT and then you're going to hit create. You're going to start a 2D sketch. It should be on the XY plane. If you look at the instructions, Bob starts out as just a rectangle and then you dimension him his height should be 4 inches. His width should be 2.5. And then you have to remember after you draw each piece of geometry, you have to hit extrude. So I'm hitting E on my keyboard right now for extrude. And the distance I'd like you to go, again, it's on the handout, is 0.5. So I'm going to type in 0.5. Then I'm going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to start a sketch on this surface. I'm going to draw the eyes so they stick off of the edge of his face. Do not constrain them to the side by clicking here. They have to stick off a little bit. Same exact thing on this other side. Do not let it touch the edge. It has to hang, hang over the edge. I'm going to dimension these circles. Diameter is supposed to be 1.5. For both of them. The distance from the top of his head to the center point of his eye is supposed to be 1.25 for both eyes. So I'm clicking on the top surface of his head, the center point of his eye, 1.25. That slides it down. The distance from the edge of his face to the center point is supposed to be 0.5 for both sides. So the side of his head, center point of his eye should be 0.5. Again, you need to extrude them. So I hit E for extrude. I click inside of each eye so that it sticks out. This depth should be 0.3. After that, I'm going to put a sketch right on top of his eye. It cannot be on his face. It has to be on top of his eye. That gives us a starting point, so we draw a circle right in the center of his eye. Dimension it. Your handout says to make this 0.5. You will not have a center point on this eye, so I end up just doing a cut. So I hit E for extrude. Tell it to cut. The distance that I cut in is 0.2. Hit the green check mark. Then I'm going to go over and make my other eye. I start a sketch. Click on his eye. Same exact process. Right from the center. Dimension is pupil to 0.5. Hit E for extrude, change to a cut, 
distance is 0.2. For his nose, this time I'm clicking on his face. His nose is a cylinder, so it starts out as a circle. The circle gets dimension. That diameter is supposed to be 0.5. The distance from the side of his face to the center point is 1.25. Going to hit the green check mark. The distance from the top of his head to the center point, 2.25. That gets extruded. Gets extruded a distance of 1 inch. And you're going to put what's called a fillet on this. It is not pronounced fillet. It's fillet. Click on the fillet. I will click on the outside ring of his nose. There's a little bit of math that goes on into this. The radius of this circle was 0.25. So you'll type in 0.25 for the radius, which gives you a perfect rounded nose. Then hit the green check mark. So his nose is complete. On the back side of your handout is information for the mouth and teeth. For the mouth, I personally like to draw a circle. And then I draw a tangent to tangent line, which means from edge to edge. Earlier, I taught you how to use the trim tool. I trim off the top of his mouth. Dimensioning for this, the width of his mouth is supposed to be 2 inches. I'm not too terribly concerned about this falling off. More dimensions will get it into the right spot. Distance from the side of his head to the center point of his mouth is supposed to be 1.25. The distance from the top of his head to the top of his lip is supposed to be 2.75. Finally, the radius of this arc is supposed to be 1. This also gets cut to a distance of 0.3. Next, I do the teeth. When I'm doing his teeth, it has to be in the back of his mouth. It cannot be in the top surface of his face, back of the mouth. There's going to be two squares drawn. It has to be right on his upper lip or they will end up shifting down. I don't put a lot of thought into how I draw my rectangles to begin. These dimensions for these rectangles, they're 0.25 tall. They're 0.25 wide. Both teeth are the exact same size, 0.25. Getting the correct gap in between requires you to dimension from the corner of his mouth. To do that, I like to rotate so I can actually see that corner. I'm going to dimension from this little line, that is the corner of his mouth, to the edge of his tooth. A dimension pops up between those two clicks. Your handout says it should be 0.7. I go to my magic cube and rotate them back the other way. Same exact thing, corner of his mouth, edge of his tooth, 0.7 is the distance. Sometimes when you extrude these teeth, if it's hard to click on them, zooming in does help. The distance that these stick out should be 0.2. After you have everything drawn, your job is to color them in traditional SpongeBob colors which means his body is yellow, eyes are white, mouth is red, teeth are white. To turn this file in, you should put Bob at an isometric angle. You should do a, go to click on the eye. You should hover over Save As. 
Click on Save As. Please name this file after your last name. Call it Bob. And put down your class period. My advice is always save yours to the My Documents folder. Or desktop is fine. If you also need to turn this file into a Google Classroom or some other location, you need to save it as a JPEG file. You do that by clicking on the I, hovering over Save As, going over to Save Copy As. You can save it to your desktop, name it after your last name, Bob, and your class period. Down here, you need to change the file to a JPEG. Hit Save. Minimize your software, and on your desk somewhere, you should have a JPEG file that opens like this. This is the type of file that I need for you to turn in. Thank you.